Theirs is a love story that began in a diner more than 60 years ago. Well, my wife was working in a diner when I met her, but she worked there and I could get free coffee, so. Ron and Lucy McCaslin's love for each other has grown stronger over the years, as has their love of collecting memorabilia. We have stuff, that's our motto, we have stuff. But their love story isn't without challenges, brought on by Ron's diagnosis of Parkinson's. That was the main thing, was his shaking and his walking. It was a diagnosis that at first baffled some of his doctors. And the guy said, walk down the hallway for me. So I walked down the hallway, came back, and said, you don't have Parkinson's. So then I went back to Dr. Wayman and he said, yes, you do have it, whatever. So I got Parkinson's. I didn't think too much of it because I didn't think it was much of a disease. You know, on Parkinson's, everybody's got that, you know, but it's not the case. Though he has a tremor and trouble speaking and walking, Ron says severe fatigue is the worst symptom. Once I get uh, tired, then I'm done for the day. Ron has always loved reupholstering furniture in the shop behind the couple's home, but now he says his shaky hands make the job more difficult. I was trying to put a light bulb in the tool shed, and I couldn't get my hands to stop shaking enough to get it screw, screwed into the, to the thing. But I got it in. I got it in. The couple also loved to travel to flea markets and auto shows, but now that has become too difficult. We don't do as much traveling and stuff as we used to do. Hi. How are you? Good. Thanks to telemedicine, they no longer have to travel five hours to Rochester to see Ron's Parkinson specialist at the University of Rochester. Time. It sounds like all of those other medications you're taking in the evening. Yeah. A single okay. click allows them to connect with their specialist for a video visit. About this symptom. You know, for us, it saves us you know, the trip, okay. so that we don't have to leave the house. Telemedicine has been very helpful to us because we can get help and questions answered and so forth without having to drive all the way to Rochester. Able to fall back asleep pretty easily after you wake up, though? During oh, yeah. a recent telemedicine visit, they asked the doctor about Ron's severe fatigue and if it could be caused by medicines used to treat his Parkinson's. And are you consistently taking a nap later in the afternoon like that? Pretty much. The doctor also assessed Ron's mobility and tremor. Okay, right arm straight out in front of you like that. Palm down. Flip it so it's palm up. And reviewed his medications. Next dose after your noon dose of carbidopa levodopa. Lucy says these visits via telemedicine have made a difference, as have medicines to treat Ron's Parkinson's symptoms. He seems to be younger looking, and people have noticed this, that he looks better. Ron tries to stay active with daily walks around Saranac Lake, where they live. He hopes the future will bring new drugs to slow the progression of the disease, and he's encouraged by doctors who tell him he's doing well. So I'm afraid of dying, and he said, what, what made you think of that? He said, you're going to live at least to 91. I said, well, it's good enough to me.